Oh. What's going on YouTube? This is Chris over here at Dream Media. It looks like we got a brand new video for you guys today. We're doing a full Klipsch install. This guy spared no expense, right? We have full Klipsch THX going in the walls. We have a, a black diamond screen going on the wall. We have the RS3000 down here, guys. Like this is gonna be a really incredible video. Sorry about the way I look. I've been sweating wearing this mask and, and <laughs> it's just really, really hot business up here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump into it. We'll do it right after the intro. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and show you what we have over here. Just starting off with the biggest thing um, in the back is gonna be our SI black diamond screen. This is gonna be a massive uh, screen for you guys. We also have the 8000S on the surrounds, left and right. And then we also have the 504Ls, left, center, and right. And then up here, so this is gonna be a 5.1.4 system. And over here we have the Klipsch 5002s, these are going to be our Atmos um, configuration, and it looks like you guys will notice that not everything's over here. It's because these guys are already well on their way to getting everything installed. So we got lines run, we have speakers installed, we have the pole mounted. I brought the sub, and you guys know that I love SBS. So back here he has the SB or the PB 2000 Pro. So incredible, incredible horsepower going in to produce those LFE effects. Last thing we'll show you, this is an active war zone because we're still, you know, completing the job. Don't worry, whenever we come to your house, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, wear protection with gloves, masks, and, uh, you know, we're gonna protect your stuff and we're gonna clean up as well. But besides that, the JVC RS3000, incredible, incredible image. As you guys know, I just got this one over at my house. I did a couple demos last night. It's a little dusty because it is a, you know, <laughs> active construction zone. We're going to wipe everything down. Don't worry. And then we have the Denon 8500 right here. So this is going to be a really, really good system. So we'll go ahead and update you guys as we can complete the job. All right. So it looks like we got some of the, the speakers going. We have the right, we have the center, and then we have the left one that has yet to be put in. What's up, man? You're YouTube famous now. <laughs> we got the, uh, the grill going on, the magnetic grill with this sweet, THX clutch right here. I really like the way this the finish is on this. For some reason, that brushed aluminum just screams expensive. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. All right, guys, so real quick, I'm just gonna go over a couple of uh, specs here that you guys may not notice. Says, these are a little newer to the channel because uh, they're a little more of a premium product. So if you guys want a little more information on these, I'll go ahead and explain it right now. So these are the Clip Surrounds, the THX series, the 8000S. So the cool thing with these is that you're gonna have two of your titanium dome tweeters and they're gonna be one inch tweeters right here. We have one firing this way, one firing that way. Ideal, I ideally perfect for a surround type of uh, um, performance. Here we're gonna have our eight inch ceramic metallic woofer. And as you guys notice that those uh, ostentatious clip copper cones are not on this specific model. One thing that you guys will know that's really cool with this one is that it is an, an, an entire unit. It's a sealed unit. So the biggest complaint that, that some people have with uh, in-wall speakers is that it kind of like bleeds into the other room. You're gonna get maximum performance by having a backing on your in-wall speaker. So if you guys haven't sought that out already, great option right here. You gotta pay for it, but we're a really good option for you. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and check out what he has for his, uh, his Atmos type of effect. So these are what most people will call overkill. Um, but for me, there is no such thing as overkill. I love big, crazy speakers. And this is probably the biggest uh, um, ceiling speaker that I've seen by far. So the cool thing with these is you're going to have that same uh, one inch titanium dome tweeter. That's going to be kind of recessed back in this little guy right back here. So it's gonna fire out to your main listening position. We have uh, dual mid-base drivers over here. They're five and a quarter. And then we have that, uh, that port as well. So you, typically you don't get a whole lot of bass effects with your overhead speakers. You typically like to live, uh, leave all the heavy lifting to your subwoofer um, and then just you know, cross everything over. But these things can deliver time after time after time. So even if you didn't have a subwoofer, you guys can definitely get away with, uh, with just running these. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the backing on this one as well. So kind of a... Uh, massive. <laughs> this has a really big footprint. So you, you have to make sure that you have this in a space that you can fit them in. So there's attic space above this one, probably in a one story type of configuration. This may not be the best um, alternative, but uh, as you guys see, 
very, very large on the, the depth here. So that's a consideration as well. And then you have your toggles that just go ahead and snap right in the drywall and then you're off to the races. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys the rest of the system and then uh, I'll update you as we complete the job. All right, so the, uh, the owner of this uh, beautiful home theater wanted me to do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So these are the brand new speakers that are going in. These are the speakers that are coming out. <laughs> so the size difference is, uh, is astonishing. So you can imagine how much sound performance you're gonna get out of it. Now let's go ahead and pump over to these little guys right here up top, and I'll show you the comparison of those as well. So now this is what's going in. This is what came out. I think, the, uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty clear on which one's going to be uh, better in performance. Not saying that these are bad, but there's definitely something a little bit better. Oh, man, look at this thing going in right here. That is a massive speaker. This is a two-person job. <laughs> Highly recommend you guys not doing this yourself. Otherwise, you might, buy, might be buying another set. <laughs> and then make sure with these specifically that you angle that uh, tweeter. I'm not talking about you guys. You guys know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the viewers. Make sure you guys angle that tweeter towards your main listening position because that's going to help out a lot too. So again, forgive the dirtiness. We're still in the middle of construction. So whenever this, this job is completed, everything is going to be nice and tidied up so that you guys don't have to worry about it being dirty. So... Looks like we already finished up the front stage. We have the left, center, and right already in the walls. And then we're already uh, having mounted that top bracket for the, uh, the screen. I can't even get it all in the same shot because it's so massive. So one thing you guys ask very often is room dimensions. So this is 21. It's 24 feet back from screen to the back wall. And then I think we have, what, 12-foot ceilings in here? 12-foot? Yeah, roughly. So those are the dimensions for you guys always asking. And for people that are asking for price, you got to call us, and we're not going to tell you over the Internet. <laughs> All right, guys, looks like we got one, two, threes going in right now. So let's just, for comparison, show you the difference in the holes of the previous overhead speaker versus what's going in there right now. So if you guys can imagine the increase in size, we got one going in right over here right now. The guys are just getting it installed. Uh, they're just buttoning up the final little details, but this is a massive speaker, make no mistake about it. So there's gonna be incredible performance coming out of these things and I can't wait to go ahead and get this thing fired up, get it all calibrated for you guys, do a quick little demo. So we're, uh, we're plugging and chugging. See you in a little bit. That's the satisfying part right there. there you get to see what's in the walls. Zoop. Zoop. <laughs> also, this are beautiful speakers in terms of. Yeah, and I was just talking about that earlier. <clears throat> the brushed aluminum look, for some reason, it's what everything high end gets. And uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely showing right here on this clip speaker for sure. And especially the entire THX series, it has that brush aluminum look. And that's how you do it. All right, guys, so we're moving along here. It looks like the uh, 8805 is all wired up and ready to go. And check this out. We got something a little uh, new to the channel. We're using banana plugs on this project. Again, like we we're talking about, customer spared, no expense. Typically, whenever you guys are watching our videos, you don't necessarily see the banana plugs. Uh, it's from an install standpoint. Um, as a company, it's hard to ensure that this stuff's going to stay in there with banana plugs. Sometimes the customer may, may move it, kid may bump, bump it or something, then, you know, half your speakers don't work. So that's why you always see us screw these manually into the back of the unit. But banana plugs are a great idea, especially if you guys are going to be swapping out speakers or swapping out connections. Um, I use them in my personal space, but that's the reason why right there, but it looks awesome. And, uh, besides that, getting a lot of other stuff done over here. The screen's getting put in. We have the 150 inch black diamond zero edge pro. We have, uh, we're basically putting in a box right now. 
so that we can run the backlit LED kit. We already got the mounts on the wall. This thing's coming together really quick, so we have all the speakers in, ready to go. JVC projector is on, and uh, yeah, we're about to pop off that lens, verify that the frame adapt HDR update is on there, and then, you know, whenever we get the screen up there, we'll go ahead and give you guys a demo. All right, guys, so this is just verifying that whenever you do buy, you know, your brand new projector, typically it's not going to come installed already preset from the factory with that 310 update. The 310 update is so critical in the fact that you get the frame adapt HDR. So this one comes from the factory. Uh-oh, my finger's all out. This one comes from the factory with a 2.08 update. You have to make sure it's 310 update because that's the frame adapt HDR. And then, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. It's going to take about 20 or so minutes. Last time I checked, it was about 17 minutes at my house. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll go ahead and get the screen up there. Get you guys a demo. All right, guys, so the next thing you're going to notice is once you unwrap your black diamond screen, um, you're going to go ahead and have to actually add these little tabs over here. And the cool little thing is SI decided to go ahead and do some logoing right on their little tab. So you're never going to see it, but something that's cool that they add to it. So you have to go ahead and install these and then tension them to your frame. After that, you go ahead and add some little more trim, and then that's it. So it just takes a little time. This is a... Uh, this, this is really tedious, so it's not really fun, so I'm probably not going to film the entire thing. All right, guys, so it looks like we went ahead and finished off getting all these little tabs set up. Now we have to do the long, tedious process of assembling each one of these, attaching the strap to the little dots that they have in there. So typically what you're going to see is whenever you first get out of the box, you pull out this one right here, and then you basically just get rid of it. It's just on a little sticky. And then you just spread these out and basically each one of these is going to equal one of these right here. So it's just going to tab tension together. Well, not really tab tension, but you're going to snap them into place. And that's something that's really cool. So we're going to go ahead and keep doing it. And I'll give you guys an update very soon. actually shaking. That's incredible. My god, the side by side, dude. Dang. You feel all the direction of the helicopter. Like, as it shifts through the room, you feel the room. Like the overhead speakers, as as the blades are moving, you can literally feel where the blade is. Hmm? Like you can feel where the blade is within like, as it's turning left, you feel it going to the left of the room. Like with the, especially with the ceiling speakers, man, they, they come down from above you. It's pretty. Yeah, pretty. and uh, I thought that that would be a challenge with these tall ceilings, but it's really realistic, so. Um. Yeah, because it feels like it's actually like significantly above you as opposed to like, if you're like trapped, I mean, if you're trapped in the room, it's like, it's going to give the similar audio, but it's going to be like more on top of you. It's just the quality of the speakers that really helps out. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's unique. Cool.
we went ahead and broke out the robots for this uh, demo for you guys. So this is some pretty fancy equipment that we have over here. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video and let you know, you guys know what we installed in this space. So we have the Klipsch uh, 504s. That's gonna be the THX version. That's the Select 2 THX. We have that front uh, on the left, center, and right. Incredible pairing for the 150 inch 1.4 black diamond zero edge pro screen with the backlit LED kit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and button up a few more details, get that LED kit up there firing away for you guys. I know that you guys don't typically like it in the video, so uh, you know, kudos. All right, so up here, we're gonna have the 5002s for the um, Atmos. And these, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, they're massive speakers, they're huge. And uh, since he had really thick drywall, it was actually a blessing. To, because we're able to mount these and they're just being suspended. They do have a brass little template on the back of it. So if you wanna hang them, kind of more of a secured uh, position, you can do that as well since these do carry a little bit of weight to them. But you guys saw that in the beginning of the video, how big and beefy these things are. I can't really pop off the, uh, the grill to show you, but there's two five and a quarter inch drivers in there and they sound amazing. It really sounds like the helicopter is right above you. Obviously you guys know the JVC RS3000 up there. We had it mounted really, really good with the um, strong fine adjust mount. And if you have a black diamond, well, not, not if you have a black diamond, if you have a zero edge pro screen like this where it has the very thin border, like look how thin this, this felt border is. It's very important that you guys grab one of these fine adjust mounts because it's really gonna be able to, you know, like tick by tick by tick, really dial in that, that image. And if you, you spend all this money, you want it to look good. And uh, I really think it does. So. I mean, that, that's, that's one thing to say for, for that specific reason. Another thing we have back here is going to be, to round out the entire series, we're gonna have the 8000s from THX, Ultra 2 certified. So these are gonna be a really, really big speakers. Um, he put the grills back on them, but uh, it's an eight inch um, ceramic metallic woofer, one inch titanium dome tweeter. And then in here, I've had to bring over my Blu-ray player to show him uh, the business. So uh, there's a little bit of wire management that needs to be done back here. So we're gonna tuck all that stuff up. So you guys don't have to worry about any of this stuff happening at your place. But uh, yeah, this is the Denon 8500 and it pushes this entire system very, very well. He didn't have a uh, 4K Blu-ray uh, Blu Blu player, so I had to bring over my own. Um, but he's basically pushing this entire system with his 4K Apple TV. Next thing you're gonna notice down here to round out the entire system, we have some near field bass going on. We have the SVS PB2000 Pro, and you guys know I love SVS on the channel. I think they have incredible subwoofers, dollar for dollar. You're not gonna get um, better performance um, based on the specs, based on you know overall experience. And I was talking to the customer, and he was saying that you know it's not boomy or anything, and it really, really sounds like you know, a, a theater-like experience. But that's it guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. We're gonna do a quick outro and uh, that's it. Well, all right guys, that's a wrap. We finished up this, uh, this incredible project. This was a two day project uh, to actually get all this stuff done. If you guys have any idea how much work goes into something like this, and especially if you guys have incredible, like uh, incredibly built houses, the drywall is a little thicker, so you guys really have to spend a little more time doing it. But uh, it was a tremendous undertaking, and I think the overall uh, end product is just incredible. The overall sound that comes through this Klipsch THX system is just mind blowing. Like we were watching, um, uh, we were watching Avengers, we were watching some Mission Impossible, we did the IMAX demo disc. I think that the homeowner is very, very pleased with his overall performance and uh, we're, we're very pleased as well. So it, br it brings joy to us to actually give you guys especially what you want and especially the, 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 the things in particular like these that are a little, uh, little more extravagant. It's a lot more fun and, and satisfying for us to do these because it doesn't happen very often. So it's really, really, really fun to have all hands on deck. Um, this screen is massive. It's the same width as my 144 inch 2.35 at home, but this is a massive 150 inch screen with paired with that JVC RS 3000. So JVC with uh, screen innovations is always going to be an excellent combo, but I really appreciate you guys for watching. And if you guys found this video informative, uh, please, uh, we'll, we'll leave our information right down here. So if you'd like anything like this or anything home theater related, just go ahead and pick up the phone, shoot us an email. We'll be happy to help you out. Um, we've been really, uh, <laughs> we've been really overstretching ourselves trying to reach back out to you guys it's been the the summer is just picking up so everyone just wants to be home in their home theaters
years. And who knows if AMC is going to open back up. So you guys can uh, grab your friends and, you know, grab, uh, watch a really good movie at the same time. So highly recommend that you guys install one of your home theaters uh, from us. And if not, then hopefully you guys buy your products from us. Well, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you aren't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. Hit the, uh, the, the big thumbs up and notifications bell, guys. I'm going to keep saying notifications bell. It means the world to us that you guys actually see these videos whenever they come out. And we really appreciate the uh, support that you give us. But that's it. It's been a long video. We're going to go ahead and end it here. And I'll catch you on the next one.